challenges we have today is invasive species. We always have to be thinking about that when we manage for wildlife, no matter what we do. We're really concerned about non-native invasive plants. And the reason they become a problem is they're just so aggressive, they can grow in a variety of conditions. And eventually some of them get to the point where they outcompete our native vegetation. And then they can eliminate the food and the cover and the other habitat features that the native species can provide. There was some research looking at the nutritional value of honeysuckle berries. And they were actually comparing that value to the uh, nutritional value of some of the berries produced by our native plants. And what they ended up finding is that the honeysuckle berries were not nearly as nutritious as our native berries. Other studies have shown that songbirds nesting in honeysuckle end up producing um, less young per year. It's also more likely that their nest will be predated. When it comes to invasive species management, there are a couple key things, and one of the probably the most important is just as a landowner to be aware of those invasive species, be able to identify them, and catch them early. If you let them get out of hand, it can be really costly time and money to, to get them back under control. I figure I spent about 2,000 hours working on multiflora rose control. So that was over eight years. Now I'm thinking I can probably keep it under control in maybe two weeks, you know, 60, 80, 100 hours a year. I can keep it under control indefinitely. The other key point is prior to a timber harvest to look for invasive species, get them under control before the harvest and eliminate that seed source. And then following up after that harvest to make sure that if you're getting invasives getting started that you can kind of nip that in the bud before it gets out of hand. We came in and killed all the invasive right. species as we could before we did it, but we've got to continue to. Yeah, because we're pretty sure that the wild rose bush and the Atlantis is going to pop up. Back. I mean, that's what happens. And, and probably the wineberry is going to pop in there. Yeah. And we don't want it totally taken over. Yeah. Uh, taking some steps with the Partners for Wildlife to help us clear um, the autumn olive and the um, Asian bittersweet. Both are very invasive species and uh, a lot of trouble in this area with them. And they came in with a fecal machine and cut several acres uh, of the worst of ours. And I uh, hand cut it, sprayed it, chopped it, brush hauled it, everything I could think of to do since. And we're, you know, it's going to be an ongoing war. Uh, if you'd ever let up for a minute, I think it would win. Landowners looking for assistance in combating invasive species can come to uh, one of our Ohio Woodland Stewards classes. Uh, in addition, we have a really nice series of fact sheets available on the Ohio Woodland Stewards website, uh, which is woodlandstewards.osu.edu.